You've waited a lifetime to look better and feel better, and now here's your chance. Fitness Friday on WNDB. Call 239-0033 and have your questions answered on health, fitness, and a better life. Fitness Friday is brought to you by Bodies by Tasso and Company, 1140 West Granada Boulevard in Ormond Beach. And now, here's your host, Tasso Kiriakis. Welcome to Fitness Friday, in-house with our co-host and uh, sponsor, Mitch Booth from Love Whole Foods. And... Um, and then also sponsored by Dr. Fon, who I asked Dr. Fon if he uh, would give up his time calling in today because we have a very special guest calling in from California. Oh, do you? Dr. Jamie McManus, oh, who yeah. is the medical director and research director for Shackley Corporation. Very cool. And, um, you know, I sent out a big email to my members to get them to listen in today and gave a thank you to Mitch here because, you know, this sort of conflicts a little bit with, with Mitch's relationship with us because he, uh, he sells supplements. But we're going to talk with Dr. Jamie from a research standpoint and uh and and hopefully it'll be beneficial and knowledgeable for everybody who gets the opportunity to listen out there so we'll wait for her call but mitch before we get to dr jamie let's talk a little bit about love whole foods and and really you're more than a vitamin shop and what love whole food does because you promote a philosophy of eating whole foods and and uh working towards health well thanks tasa nice to join you again on a beautiful friday morning uh Love Whole Foods started a, a mission 24 years ago of basically using food as medicine. We know uh, all too well in your own experience that uh, the food that our grandparents and our great-grandparents uh, consumed is now what we're getting in the, in the, in the mass market these days. So uh, Love Whole Foods was dedicated to a, a, in integrity of the food with an assurance that getting the micronutrients that we need to sustain life is best utilized if you get it from a food. That being said, we're realists. Supplements play a critical role. And I was excited when you were telling me that uh, Dr. McManus was going to join us. Love Whole Foods, just like you're in your own mission, has been dedicated to good science. And the science is absolutely clear that in with the environmental stress, the nutritional stress that all of our listeners are experiencing, supplementation plays a critical role. As long as there's good science, I don't care where it comes from, if that, if that product line is compatible with the mission that we've been doing for 24 years, now at our two locations, uh, I'm, I'm on board with that. That's, that's the key. Just uh, what we've done in our partnership is talk about the the three pillars of good health. That's eating good food and the, and the concomitant with that good water, uh, exercise in a in a sensible program that you've done so well, and then of course supplementation. So uh, I'm excited. I, it's it it's what we do. And and you know the the one thing you know when um when I was first introduced to Shackley Corporation in about 1980. Uh, 81, I think is what I actually got in, but my brother actually introduced it to me while I was in graduate school. And, you know, at that time, Mitch, it was like, um, you know, supplementation was sort of a, you, you didn't know enough, it was only for freaks, you know, in the late 70s, you know, the, only the real, the real nuts were, were supplementing. And, um, and, you know, little by little, we've discovered more about the benefit of supplementation. In fact, one of the things I want to talk with Dr. Jamie about is the landmark study, which studied people's uh, supplement habits over many years. It was an independent study that was, was not just done on Shackley products or for Shackley people. It was done on a broad range of supplementation. But when, when we looked at, um, when, when I started to look at this, this company and the products back in the 70s, I, I really had no understanding of supplementation. I thought a multivitamin was what we would take, and that was it. And, and I think you would agree with this, is today we've evolved to where supplementation is such an important part of people's lives. The one error I think a lot of people make, and if you go into the body's training of my staff, and we, when we talk about supplementation nutrition, we talk about this. There has to be a broad range of nutrients delivered to the body. The, I think the one big error that we're falling to in this society today, and it's, and it's propagated by the companies that produce vitamins in mass, is that they start and they go and, and they say, well, listen, what we're going to do is we're going to, <clears throat> um, we're going to, uh, promote calcium, for instance. So our multivitamin has extra calcium in it, or they're going to promote B complex for stress, or they're going to uh, promote vitamin C. So people now run out 
And based on the benefits of that one supplement, try to look at getting that supplement. And they're, they're starting to treat it as if it's a symptom response kind of thing. It's like, we got a symptom. Well, yeah, it's, a, it's that whole idea, you got a problem and, and you're using a supplement basically in the same paradigm as a drug. So uh, I, yeah, I'm not, I, I, you and I both like consistent plans where there's a structure with a goal so that you get the other aspect of this, not just good science-driven supplementation. Calcium's a great one, um, primarily because it's so abused. And, but the, the performance delivered is the other part of the equation, and that is if you're taking a calcium supplement, you want to go and get that DEXA scan, and you want to actually see uh, performance. You want to see even using the medical paradigm, using their testing. And, and calcium both um, uh, uh, for stress reliefs, uh, calcium for preventing osteopenia, uh, calcium for um, uh, uh, cardiovascular, and each one of those requires a different calcium and a different chelate, and I'm assuming Dr. McManus is going to discuss whatever the research that uh, her corporation has had. What I've found is that the best Absorption. You can take a ton of a supplement. Calcium is a perfect example. And if that calcium isn't absorbed, it's going to be, it's going to find a weak place in the body and it's going to create things like uh, gallstones or kidney stones. And I think it's funny because the medical paradigm always points that out, except the, cal the, the, the medical community doesn't point out the good studies that shows, for example, a calcium hydroxyapatite is 100% absorbed if, if done from a good manufacturer. And again, that's our theme today. And, and the thing about it is this, is that when we look at the supplementation, the Shackley, and not in the Shackley, but in the body's philosophy, it's broad range nutrition, a good multivitamin, multimineral, an easy to digest protein, um, a quality protein, uh, a, a good antioxidant, a strong probiotic. Those are the first four building blocks of a good foundational program for people to supplement with. And so we use those products in, in that sense and under that game plan. And from there, we get, out, we get the interference out of the way for the body to begin to heal itself and go in the right direction. So those, those are the things we work for from that standpoint. You know, uh, I, hope, I hope we don't have a technical <laughs> difficulty getting Dr. Jamie on because we, we haven't got her in here yet. So, but I want to, before we go any further, I told well, you. You and I don't have any yeah, trouble dancing on right. that one. Well, well, let me do this. I want to promote uh, some two things. Number one, I want to promote this weekend at uh, St. Demetrius Greek Orthodox Church at 129 North Halifax. We're having a Father's Day luncheon. It is the benefit Food Brings Hope, which is a great local charity that gives uh, food to kids that, that are. Uh, that are um, school age and don't have the resources or don't have the contacts to be able to have food uh, on a weekend kind of basis and they get little backpacks. They, they do a lot of things culturally as well, but that's the one thing that really caught my attention, giving them good quality diet and that, that aspect. But Food Brings Hope is a great local charity. And then another, the other charity that will benefit from this event is going to be the St. Stephen's Summer Camp that we have, with, which is a summer camp that runs for five to six weeks in the summer at a location in Salem, South Carolina. It's, it's, uh, we send a lot of kids from our church to. So this event is uh, $15 at the door, $12 if you call right now to 252-6012. Here's the menu. It's going to be a menu of slow-cooked ribs, lamb, done Greek style, marinated chicken, a spinach and rice vegetable that's really tasty, potatoes au gratin. We have a kid's menu of uh, hamburgers, hot dogs, and, and, uh, and french fries. And we will have a great, great uh, setup. We're going to honor three wonderful men. We're going to be honoring Mayor Larry, uh, former Mayor Larry Kelly is going to be honored as an All-American Super Dad, along with two other guys from our community. And we've not told the two other guys that are being honored that they're being honored because we want to make sure they show up because they're the kind of guys that they sort of shy out of the limelight kind of deal, and they don't like to be uh, noted for things they've done. So from that aspect... We're, uh, we're working for that aspect to, to have a great event. And you can call 252-6012 to reserve your spot and to be part of this Father Day, Father's Day celebration that we're going to have at the St. Demetrius Greek Orthodox Church. The other thing is three great specials at Bodies by Toss and Company. Uh, number one is the uh, summer's program, $99 for 99 days student special. And then $199 is our Hot Bodies uh, summer program, which gives you supervised exercise, our, our SciFit system, 
and uh, the, the programs that we run from the standpoint of helping people be supervised in their programs and get results. So there's always someone there servicing you and, and personally working you along through. And then there's our one-on-one -on -one program that normally is a $1,200 investment for $799 for 18 one-on-one -on -one sessions. It's a great program for get, getting on the, on the path to health, guarantees you results. So that's, uh, those, those three specials are going on. We've, we run the summer specials so that we can have a program where people are, uh, don't have to be fearful of, of being in a um, membership that's long-term, number one. Number two is that they, they have the opportunity for um, getting the program done uh, without fear of failure. You know, th people fear of failure and fear of rejection are some of the things that people have and that fear of commitment. So we try and make it a nice 12-week program that gives people great results. And the phone number for that is 672-6464. And Mitch, I'm, I'm going to I'm going to cut you loose for a minute. And I'm going to go grab my phone and see if I can uh, see where Dr. Jamie's at. And uh, and that. So if you want to talk a little bit about the specials you're running at uh, Love Whole Foods, uh, I'm going to turn the microphone over to you. Okay. Well, thanks, Todd. So listen, uh, n n this month we're featuring uh, 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 some wonderful summer uh, offerings in our cafe. I just wanted to mention to our, our listeners that we have two locations, the one at 275 Williamson Boulevard in Norman Beach, and our second new location that we opened just in the, in the, in the shadow of the pavilion in Port Orange. It's exit 256 and uh, ta uh, on Taylor Road in Port Orange, it's 1633. Both cafes are offering summer soups, um, and I and we've got our organic coffee bar uh, smoothie bar. We've also got a line drive that's going on with our entire uh, Garden of Life uh, product line, and Garden of Life is certainly compatible with our subject today. They look at their supplementation uh, as as one of the key components of my philosophy, which is try to derive the nutrients from a whole food basis. Uh, we've got a wonderful special going on with Garden of Life's proteins. Uh, these proteins run the gamut from whey protein, which is a obviously a uh, bovine source, and uh, all the way to um, a, 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 a pea pod uh, protein, which is hypoallergenic and doesn't have uh, any gluten. We both have their pros and their cons, depending on what the objectives are of uh, each individual. Um, those uh, th are all being discounted across the board at 30%. If you uh, talk with one of our trained sales staff, uh, they'll be happy to find a, a coupon for you, uh, in many cases from 3 to $5 in addition. So what's great is you're getting a great product line with um, uh, in everything from children that need uh, those specialty proteins that aren't going to cause a lot of upset stomachs uh, or uh, other allergenic reactions for our adults. We've got uh, protein uh, supplementations that are great for uh, uh, the seniors that are in our listening audience where they want to uh, in com in build uh, muscle mass uh, uh, when in done in combination with the uh, TASO's exercise program. I might also add this is a great recovery for those folks that have been in the hospital. These are great uh, first step in the recovery process if there's been a, a challenge involving uh, surgery. Uh, I might also add that with the article that was just done in the news journal concerning hip replacements, those folks that are having problems with prosthetics that um, are causing a lot of complications. Uh, these protein shakes are a great first step in uh, trying to alleviate some of the inflammatory responses from the prosthesis that have failed, uh, even to in the process of helping them. Um, uh, for those seniors that want to see what they can do to boost uh, 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 absorption of the minerals that are necessary to maybe uh, what a nice idea, maybe avoid having the surgeries done. That was a pretty big eye-opener when uh, we, uh, when I opened up the page. Uh, there are a lot of people listening here that are saying, wow, maybe I want to make those knee knees last a little bit longer or the hips to last a little bit longer. So, Well, Mitch, we you know, um, about 20% of the people that I work with at the club are over 80 years of age. 
that we have in our one-on-one -on -one program. And I, I don't think that we, I've shown you this, but um, I was involved in helping create a machine that is called the Step One. And the Step One we, we did because we have so many people who have hip and knee replacements. One of the big challenges they have when they first start a rehab program is getting their range of motion back so they can get pain free and get functional again. And, and so we, um, we developed this machine because what we noticed over the years was people who, who tried to get it on and ride a bike and things of that nature could not facilitate it very well. So what we, what we worked with on that was beginning to, to take a simple activity, which was basically a stepping motion. So imagine that you have a, a set of steps that you, 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 you can sit down and manipulate the sides of that step. And then we gave them an arm handle so that they can work with the standpoint of working through a range of motion that was comfortable for them. So they manage the, the, the height of that step by how they move their hands and where they place the seat. From that standpoint, we've worked very successfully with our people who have knee and hip replacements and working with them from that standpoint. The other thing is we look at the, the when we look at a joint that's been replaced, we worked at strengthening the muscular sleeve around it because that then takes on that, that, that secondary role it had of support now becomes a primary role to make sure that there's not a lot of trauma. To Especially that surviving, if it's, if it's the left hip that got replaced, you, you know that there's going to be, now you've got 100% functioning left hip. What happens to that right hip that may not be optimal? Right, and, and you know, people change their gait. And, and you know, the one thing that, we dis that we've discovered with the use of this machine that was really sort of remarkable for us was you know we 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 the con concept of this thing was purely around people who had knee replacements and we knew we were going to be working with an aged population and that well here's the amazing thing that came out of this is we now we now look at it and we see that you know how seniors when they start to walk the, they they start to get that little shuffle like Artie Johnson used to have we're noticing that their gait is beginning to open up because they naturally, even the person with the healthy hips or knees that's using this machine is starting to get that bigger gait. And they're being able to have better balance because you know what happens is we shorten that gait. We now increase our risk of falls if we're not strong enough to support right. our muscles. And, and, and our and our mothers, that's a number one preventable cause of early death is that is slip and fall. Even right. even in Florida, it doesn't have to be where my mom is uh, hanging out in um, um, Motor City Land. Right. So that, that's a that's a real a real interesting part for us from that standpoint. Another uh, research article I read this week, just to get completely off the topic, of, and, and this, but it, it, it mixes very well. You know, one of the things that happens is humans are primarily made up of two different types of muscle groups, what we call fast twitch and slow twitch muscle fiber. And you know, we look at fast twitch muscle, and we tend to we tend to understand that fast twitch muscle fiber is this very high power generating muscle fiber. That what it does is it um, it drives it drives the ability for power and quick recruitment of speed in that. So the kids that can jump higher and run faster usually have a high level of fast twitch muscle fiber. Well, we all have fi fast twitch mu muscle fiber. The problem with fast twitch muscle fiber for us is that as we age, we lose that fast twitch muscle fiber. Now, when we're 15, 18, 20 years old, we can build that fast twitch muscle fibers function in our body with with explosive movement. Well, the scientific right, and our horm hormonal chemistry is real conducive to regenerating, which right, right. is another issue we need to address in a future show. And so, and so, what happens is, is what what happens from that standpoint is, is that as we age, we begin to lose the functionality of that fast twitch muscle fiber, and and then what occurs when we lose that that functionality of that fast twitch muscle fiber? Then what begins to occur is we begin to slow down. That's why you see these athletes at 30 years old in the NFL; they're now starting to lose a step and that type of thing. Well, the thing about the thing about uh, fast twitch muscle fiber is we, if we want to train someone for speed, that is a distance runner, say, because one of the big rites of passage as of late for people who are 40 and 50 years old, they, they, especially women, they want to go out and run this marathon uh, or half marathon or walk run it, is to build their speed of movement. Well, we now have found, and research has substantiated this, is that when you train. And, and if you train at a heavier load, you can work as long as you're working slowly. When you get to volitional fatigue, to try and push as hard as you can, will actually inroad and stimulate that fast twitch muscle fiber to s s not to grow back and not to regenerate, but to s remain functional and more efficient in its recruitment. So, from that standpoint, 
but um so that's that's the aspect of of training from that standpoint so if if you are a distance runner and you don't think weight training has a role to you because as a distance runner you been, begin to build this endurance nature slow twitch muscle fiber if you're trying to build your speed as a result uh for that kick at the end of your run weight training strength training in a proper fashion where you're moving the weight slowly and smoothly remember the protocol that we use in our one-on-one -on -one program is lift that weight on a 10 second count not a 10 second rep total time 10 seconds just on the contraction of the muscle what that will do is allow you to use less weight inroad the muscle preserve the joint without having a lot of trauma placed on it right a lot and of stress and it becomes right. about muscle work rather than momentum doing the work then as you fatigue doing that because you're pushing full range of motion now when you start to fatigue you can start to push harder and and now you can actually recruit as if you're recruiting a fast twitch thing people think fast twitch muscle because it's response for speed and power and all that is a is a muscle group is a muscle that responds very quickly it's actually the slower muscle to respond slow twitch muscle fiber recruits first and fast twitch only comes in when there is a huge load needed to overcome so we we tend to think that explosive movement this goes back to one of arthur jones main tenets you cannot train fast to become faster when it comes to strength training strength is general and 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 skill is specific so if i want to hit a golf ball better i can't hit a golf ball better by taking a, a long weighted um, um bar and swinging it for my golf stroke what i want to do is strengthen the muscles that work that function and then go work out on the skill of getting better range of motion as i bring a, a, a club head back and flow through it so those those types of things are what now research is beginning to show us very well about about what what can happen in that type of thing so my my only concern is you take the golf and the the key in golf is that normally it's done in the heat of the day um respiration and perspiration are are at their peak the thyroid gland is working the metabolic function is causing those nutrients to be burned up the trick is how are we going to get how are we going to get uh, the mitochondria yeah. of the cells to be able to regenerate themselves so that when you're at hole nine, you can make it to hole ten, and you don't boink. I mean that we've had that discussion. Water plays a critical role, uh, and it's fundamental to hydrate, as you know. You emphasize that so much at at your facility, and then, of course, which nutrients also, which B vitamins, which which minerals. Remembering that the body runs on basically uh, almost every single mineral or a rare earth element that's on the periodic chart. How do you get the mitochondria to absorb that? And how do you get that efficient recovery so that, again, you get optimal benefit from the time, the investment that you've made in, in this healthy lifestyle choice that you've made? Um, Fitz, we're gonna take a break here in a minute. I wanna, I wanna remind people of the, the Father's Day event going on at St. Demetrius Greek Orthodox Church. To benefit the youth ministry program and also to benefit food brings hope is going to occur on sunday june 16th at uh, 12 o'clock we'll start at 11 45 with uh, big b coffee we'll be there to furnish great coffee and some snacks uh then we'll have buffington's bar and grill is teamed with some of my friends to uh, my friends and i are cooking the lamb and the chicken and the spinach and rice and uh and buffington's is bringing in a slow cooked rib, rib recipe they've made just for the day a special dessert just for the day and then also they're going to bring in their potatoes of gratin so it's going to be a great menu for only 15 dollars at the door 12 dollars in advance notice the phone number is 252-6012 we'd appreciate you uh reserving your spot so we can make sure we have enough food enough seats when you walk in don't have to scurry for that aspect of it going to be honoring three great all-american super dads uh headed up by former mayor larry kelly for his great services community and uh guys who've been very active in the saint demetrius greek orthodox community two of them will be honored and um uh, it's going to be a great event hope you will come the other thing is remind you of three great summer specials at bodies personalized fitness our 99 dollars for 99 days summer special our 199 body coach which is our supervised exercise program with our sci fit system for burst training which is very important to our weight loss program um, and then also the one-on-one -on -one program, 18 one-on-one -on -one sessions for $7.99. If you act before tomorrow, which is the deadline for getting six more free workouts, you'll get 24 workouts. That's uh, great savings and guaranteed results on that program. So 672-6464. Please give us a call. We'll be back in three minutes.
Depend on News Talk 1150 WNDB for news that's first, fast, and accurate. Tropical Storm Andrea comes and goes, bringing with it rain and taking away Volusia County's drought. 18.47 inches have been recorded at the airport for the year. The deficit has been wiped out. When news happens, we break in with the latest team coverage updates from Leslie Taylor and the WNDB News Team. News Talk 1150 WNDB, first in local news. It's going to be a good life. This is Sean Donovan. And Delo inviting you to join us every Monday morning at 930 for the Synergy Show. Let us make your Monday morning the best time of the week as we empower you to create synergy and success in every part of your life. Tune in to the Synergy Show each Monday at 930. And let's make it a good life. It's summer shape up and slim down time. Pull out those t-shirts, shorts, and bathing suits. It's fun time. What? You don't look or feel good wearing them? Bodies Per Size Fitness has three ways for you to get the summer shape up. It's our Summer Hot Bodies membership. $99 for 99 days student body shape up for the high school and college students. Number two, Hot Body Supervised Exercise Program complete with our Body by Science Burst Training Program to get out that fat and uplift your self-image. Third is our Body Summer One-on-One Program. 18 one-on-one sessions personalized and customized to fit you and your goals. Plus, it features our Personal Cardio Coach Program to burn fat and improve your endurance. Act by June 15th and get six more one-on-ones absolutely free. Three great ways to shape up and slim down. Look great this summer at Bodies Personalized Fitness. Call 672-6464. That's 672-6464 for no obligation consultation. This summer, Bodies has three ways to get body-changing, attitude-uplifting, and life-enhancing results. Call 239-0033 for Fitness Friday and your host, Tasso Kiriakis. Here's Tasso. All right, we're back with Fitness Friday. And, uh, I apologize to everybody that tuned in from the Shackley family to hear uh, Dr. Jamie McManus. Obviously, I either screwed up giving the wrong phone number or maybe overslept or forgot Pacific time, and I'll try and reschedule Hey, listen, it. Tasso, you snooze, you lose. We got, um, we're in, we're in yeah. the slot here. We got, we got so, Dave Mann in the phones. So I'm ready. And Let's you're go. welcome. Listen, you're welcome to call in with your with your uh, questions for us on fitness or or supplementation. I want to talk about two things I was going to talk with Dr. Jamie about. Number one is uh, Revesterol, which I always seem to really screw up the pronunciation of that, and you're going to probably correct me on that. But this has been a huge breakthrough in anti-aging. It comes in a product made by Shackley called Vivix that I've used with people uh, from it's, – it's a more well-rounded – and you talk in the, in the terms of whole food – it's a whole supplement that they look at. And that's, again, go, going back to why I like this. Sure, we would, the, the, the supplement wouldn't had, have even existed if it hadn't been for the research done on, on grapes. It was uh, research primarily in Australia, um, and, it, and, it, and it sort of plays into that, that French paradox that, you know, why is it that the French uh, drink wine endlessly, uh, and uh, they consume high, high fat, creamy uh, base cuisine, and yet they don't have the heart disease, and somehow um, they seem vital and young when others are uh, going over the waterfall. But um, you bet it was derived from the skin of grapes. And and and, and here's some of the qualities of, of it that we know of. Number one it is as an anti anti aging property. It extends. It lowers PSA in males. Uh, which reduces the risk of prostate. It cleanses brain tissue of the, uh, of, the, of the plaque that's connected to Alzheimer's. We see that it lowers bad, bad cholesterol and increases good cholesterol and inhibits blood clots. It prevents uh, disease you know, from the standpoint. It preserves red blood cells. It reduces the risk of breast cancer. It causes the death of, of, uh, of, of cancer cells. It protects cells from free radical damage, which you see the article in, and it goes back to my point earlier about balance and nutrition. The article in the in the Wall Street Journal that said that said that um, too many people are taking too many antioxidants, uh, too much antioxidant, and it's causing a problem from the standpoint of uh, rise in, in some forms of cancer. Did you? Did you uh, I'd, uh, there have been a number of them. The listeners out there remember when there was. Uh, 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 the Wall Street Journal did a whole thing on zinc and that uh, it, it, too much zinc was a problem. And, of course, 
you, you need to look at these things. And again, it's the science. You need to look at the studies. And you also need to, to mimic the way that the, that the supplements are found in the food supply because ultimately that's how the, the human body runs. The closer you get to the natural metabolic function of the body, the, 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 these problems are eliminated. What happens when you see a study that's been done in the, in the medical model, they'll take, let's take vitamin D for example, that everyone out there knows, hey, what, what happened? 23 years ago when we opened in the Trail Shopping Center, I was recommending 2,000 IUs of vitamin D3. That's D3, by the way, derived from cod liver oil, so it has its natural base. I used to get phone calls from irate medical physicians that were saying, Mitch, you're crazy, you're a loose cannon, you're a danger. Well, you and I both know that when the vitamin D3 at just 2,000 IUs basically is about a milligram, if you translate it into um, uh, milligram dosage that most of the listeners are familiar with, in the two decades since we were working with vitamin D and working from everything from dermatitis, psoriasis, um, uh, bone fractures, uh, cancer, now the medical community's done a 180 degree turnaround. Now there are MDs that are prescribing 50,000 IUs for as long as 30 days. Again, it goes back to the science. And then, I, and, and understanding that d d you don't want to confuse supplements with drugs. Vitamin D3 is not a drug, it's a nutraceutical. It's a natural excipient that elicits a, a physiological benefit that mimics what drugs often do, but, it's, but their, their advantage is that they typically don't have any side effect. In the case of vitamin D3 at 50,000 IUs, it, one of the side effects that was done at the Moffitt Center was it a significant reduction in the rate of colon cancer. Well, why is that really important? Well, the, the listeners need to understand that colon cancer is the number one can treatable cancer in America. And, and the reason you got on the vitamin D is because off the air I said, you know, one of the questions I wanted to ask Dr. Jamie was, why, why did we, when, we, when I first got into the really understanding and studying supplementation, we heard about fat-soluble and water-soluble vitamins. And, you know, someone told me one time, they said, you know, uh, all those vitamins you take, you just pee most of them out. And I said, well, you, you know, you're probably right. I said, because I, I take vitamins until I see it in my pee, and then I'm, I'm good. And they said. Then you know it, it's gotten to all the nooks and crannies. That's right. And they said, well, why would you do that? I said, well, because the people who have, have that, that richest pee that you're talking about, they have less than 0.1% of all the medical bills in, the, in, in this country. Because, yeah, maybe we're over supplementing, but we're not over supplementing something that has bad side effects. If we're doing the water soluble vitamins, if we take too much vitamin C or take too much B complex, it pretty much comes right out of us, you know, and that's why we get that bright yellow pea. So I, I'm, I'm a big advocate of that aspect of it. But, but there was a concern that, hey, watch out. You can't, you got, you got to watch how much of the fat soluble vitamins you take because they're going to store and they're not going to do good. But all of a sudden now we saw this change in the culture of D and, and, and talk to people a little bit more about the difference and just uh, like you were talking about calcium and maybe got over some people said, but how we go from, from vitamin D supplements to a specific D3 active form that is what we use in the body. What's the difference of why that changed? Because that's integral to the, what, the change of why we're using the D3 supplements now, right? That's correct. The, the D2 was the one that the medical doctors were trained in, in medical school but D2 is a synthetic analog of, of vitamin D. And, of course, th when you start tampering, it's like synthetic hormones. If you're doing Primarin or you're doing um, um, uh, Provera as, as, uh, in, the, in, the, in, in the hormone uh, supplement arena, these are synthetic analogs. When you look, let's just look at Provera, which is uh, synthetic progesterone. And when the Women's Health Initiative did its study, that they found that Provera was even more cancer produ uh, 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 created an environment much more prevalent with breast cancer than even Primarin. But when you do when when you read the research done by Dr. John Lee, you find that 
a a pro a, a bioidentical progesterone derived from wild Mexican yams or a food source. This goes back to our analogy of let's say the grapes. That the that the the derivative has no side effects. That in D3, the human body has evolved with the consumption of deep cold water fish, and our bodies know how to do it. We know how to utilize that vitamin D. That being said, I like doing a whole approach. If you're going to do vitamin D, make sure you do it with some vitamin K. If you're going to do the vitamin K, combine it with a highly absorbable form of calcium and magnesium. In my formula that I use at Love Whole Foods, in my, in my bone building formula, I utilized the best science that showed, and, and, and I and was looking forward to Dr. McManus confirming that they con- confirmed that if you're going to do calcium, do it with a complete matrix so that the bone can absorb it effectively. Right. Otherwise, it, it, it either you just pee it out or worse, you'll find that it stores in the case of fat stored vitamins, it'll form it it'll it'll store in the fatty tissues of the liver and certainly we don't want that to happen. Um, and, and before we go back to Revestrol, I want to talk a little bit about about bone density. You know, the the protocol we use at bodies is called super slope training. In other words, how we train the method by which we train with the weights. And, and this came out of a 1984 study, which is known as the BEST study, the Bone Estrogen Strength Training Study. At the time at the University of Florida, when Ken Hutchins and Brenda Hutchins did this study, they only used uh, uh, post, postmenopausal osteoarthritic uh, women in the study. Minimum age was 69 in the study. And these women that went through it were being also, they were broken up into groups. There were, were, there were over 1,100 women that went through the study. And they were broken up into groups, Mitch, where they, um, they did different activities and they took different kinds of supplements. You know, some of them took just a calcium magnesium supplement. Some of them took, uh, uh, at the time, what, what we would know as Fosomax today. And as they went through the study, believe it or not, the people who had a normal eating program, just a regular balanced diet of eating, and strength trained in the super slow, Increase both bone density by more than 50% over the other ones that were using merely supplementation of calcium, magnesium, and not a balanced diet, or were using exercises like walking as opposed to the strength training. Well, you and I both know that that walking stimulates that piezoelectric current. That's the catalyst. That's the that's the baking powder that that converts the nutrients into the target site that you want to reach. And, and that's why we've made this partnership. Taking a bunch of supplements and sitting on the couch is not going to create the, the results that we want. We want to see exactly what we talked about last in our last program, performance delivered. We want to see what that DEXA scan has to say. And I don't get any, I don't get any pushback from the, from the medical community. Um, I have three doctors that I work with, and I, and I send customers to those doctors who are willing to monitor bone density on our mother's age. My mom's 92, and, uh, d- and her bone density is exactly what it should be for a 40-year-old. That's what you want. That's your goal. That's right. And, and when people have, and here's the three sites. It, when I develop a program for my senior population that I work with, when they first come in, I say, we're only going to do five exercises. They go, five exercises? That's all. I, but, but we'll go to the machines. I go, five exercises. These are the five functional exercises for you to work with. Keep number, it simple. Number one is a chest press where we're pushing, we're building the triceps. We're basically building the front of the body and the back of the arm. The next exercise is a row because you're pulling, you're using the biceps and you're, and you're from the front of the body and you're using the lats and, and the rhomboids and the trapezoids from the back of the body. Then we do a leg press so they can work on getting up and down out of a chair and maintaining their strength. Third is the low back machine, the back extension, the medic's back extension. Why? Because we want to maintain a strong back so we maintain good posture because one of the biggest problems we have going on in this country is a forward head syndrome where people get this catharsis of leaning forward, which cuts yeah, down it's their... it's called st- kyphosis. Kyphosis. Yep. kyphosis. doesn't work? Yeah. Kyphosis. 
<laughs> See, I'm telling you, I murderize the English language here. So, so what happens is, is they then begin down to cut down their oxygen capacity, which leads to them having a higher risk of heart disease. They have that forward head syndrome, where their weight, uh, the weight of their head becomes huge on their neck. So, the final machine is the neck machine to strengthen the neck. Women, if you're working out and you're over the age of 30 and you're not working on a neck machine, you should be. I agree. Okay? I agree entirely. You, you know, I'm the only fitness center in this town. I I, I would re- I would dare to say that that has two neck machines in it. You know, some people go through clubs, they don't have one neck machine in it. And someone said, why you got that neck machine? I said, well, number one, that neck machine by Nautilus was specially designed to have a, a minimum weight of three pounds. Right. So-